Hey, what's up everyone? In this video, I'll show you how to use the Apple Game Porting Toolkit with Crossover 22. This will allow you to play a whole bunch of awesome games in Crossover, including DX12 titles like Elden Ring and Cyberpunk. In this video, we'll be using Crossover and CX Patcher to play these games, but just know there are other solid options out there as well, like Whiskey or running the Apple Game Porting Toolkit directly on Sonoma. Let's start. So since the Apple Game Porting Toolkit only works with Mac OS Sonoma, the first step is to get Sonoma up and running on your Mac. Make sure you know the risks of using beta operating systems, and at the very least, make sure you back up your Mac before installing Sonoma. Once we have it up and running, we need to install Crossover. Go to CodeWeavers.com, click Crossover, Mac OS, and Free Trial. Scroll down, enter your name and email, and download the trial. The trial only runs for 14 days, so I highly recommend you buy a copy for yourself. Your purchase directly contributes to the betterment of gaming on Mac, and Crossover is fantastic. Once the download is complete, we're going to go to our Downloads folder in Finder, and double-click the .zip to unzip it. Next, drag Crossover into your Applications folder. Go to your Applications folder, and double-click Crossover to open. If you're using the trial version, hit Try Now. Next, we're going to download CX Patcher. Go to your web browser and Google CX Patcher. I've also included the link in my description. Click on the CX Patcher GitHub link and go to Releases. We want to download the newest stable release. Scroll down and click the top link to download. Thanks to the Apple Gaming Wiki Discord for everything they do, including NOS and Andrew Tsai. And a big thanks to Italo Mandara and Gsen X for making CX Patcher such a great tool. Once the download is complete, we're going to go to our Finder and go to Downloads. Double-click the Patcher to unzip it. Right-click the Crossover Patcher app and hit Open. Before you agree and proceed, make sure you quit Crossover completely. Next, we need to download the Apple Game Porting Toolkit files. You can find the link in the video description. Log in with your Apple ID, scroll down, and click View Details under the Game Porting Toolkit beta. Then click the link to download. Once the download is complete, we're going to go to our Finder, go to Downloads, and double click the .dmg to mount it. We're going to toggle on Locate External Resources. Click Locate External Resources and select the Game Porting Toolkit that we just mounted. Then hit Open. Next, go to your Applications folder and drag your Crossover app into the Crossover Patcher. Now we're ready to go. Launch Crossover, and now we're going to install our Steam Bottle so we can play all of our Steam games. Double-click Steam or search for it and hit Install. If the install stops moving, make sure there isn't a window behind Crossover that needs your attention. We're going to hit Yes, Next, Accept, Next, Install, Finish. Once we get the Steam Setup window, we're going to hit Next, we're going to choose English, and Install. Then hit Finish to run Steam. Toggle DXVK on and then off to make sure that the patch applied correctly. Once you see your Steam login window, log into your Steam account. Go to your library and download a game you want to try. Remember that not every game is going to work with this. While that's downloading, let's take a look at Crossover real quick. When DXVK is toggled off, Crossover will be utilizing the Apple Game Porting Toolkit. When DXVK is toggled on, Crossover will not use the Game Porting Toolkit. You'll have to do a little bit of experimenting because some games only work with DXVK turned on. But I want to use the Game Porting Toolkit for humanity, so I'm going to leave it off. Once the download completes, hit play to try your game. Thanks for watching, and a big thanks to the Apple Gaming Wiki community on Discord. Please consider subscribing to Mac Pro Tips to help support the channel.